Benelli TNT 1130. Italian bikes are famous for certain reasons, and the TNT by Benelli is no exception when it comes to reliability. Although it is not the worst motorcycle in the world, it has its issues, but regardless, it will pay off 100 times over that with its brutal lively freebanger and a raw riding experience. It may only have 147 horsepower, but what a power that is! MV Agusta Brutale 1078 The Brutale 1078 is the hot spice you like so much that you still want more of it. The 1078 is the same, it wants to be ridden faster and faster. It is an old school machine, no electronics, no fuel maps, only your precise moves of your hand. This 4 pot engine has incredible power and was the most crazy naked back in 2006. Suzuki GSX R750. The 1985 GSX R750 is considered the first street racer, being very advanced with over 100 horsepower, 55 degree of lean angle, and a very low weight. It was a proper machine and was the best in its class, but also very dangerous due to the short wheelbase and an aggressive front fork geometry. It required a very skilled rider. Moto Morini Corsaro, a third Italian on the list, says a lot about their reputation. The Moto Morini is not the most resounding name in the world of two wheels, but when you hear it, it truly is something to write home about. The Corsaro is a two-cylinder beast, ready to throw you off of it every time you twist the throttle. It is rather powerful and willing to race any time. KTM 950 Supermoto R KTM's motto of ready to race is self-explanatory and very accurate. Take a ride in any model and you will know. Back in 2007, it was the 950 SMR introduction, a bike that doesn't forgive mistakes and requires a really skillful rider. The LC8 unit is strong, the chassis is wonderful and brakes very sharp. 